All right, 10. If, uh, this is a calculator question. If function g is defined by integrating 0 to x sine of t squared on the interval negative 1 to 3, g has a local minimum at x equals what? Well, um, kind of like that accumulation FRQ where I had to show my work, I had to justify. I guess I could take the derivative of this and find critical numbers, right? Um, critical numbers are when the first derivative is zero, and we should be able to take the derivative of this, by the way. That would be the second fundamental theorem of calculus. What is the derivative of all that? So it would be sine of x squared. We wanted to do that. But if it's just find the minimum and it's multiple choice and I have a calculator, let's just let's just graph it. Show me what g looks like if g is integrating 0 to x sine, better be in radian mode, x squared dx. And looking at those answers, it looks like it's going to be an x value somewhere between 0 and 3. So I'm going to limit my x values, and I have no idea about the y values. So I'm going to put it back to standard. Okay, and then I'd kind of like to see what's going on. That's way too much y value stuff. How about negative one to one to zoom in a little bit? What am I looking for? A local min. So zero can't be a local min because I don't know if it was above to the left of it, right? Endpoints can't be local mins or maxes. But now that I've got it graphed, that looks like a local min, right? So again, it's, it's kind of testing you on your calculator skills. Second trace. Second trace, go find me that minimum. Here's an x value somewhere to the left of it, left bound. Scoot over, here's some value to the right of it, right bound. Hit enter to skip guess. And well, it was very slow there. That's hard function for it to work with. But it looks like the minimum occurs at 2.506 or 507. So choice E. So again, this is one of those, man, there's calculus signs in there. This is calculus class, calculus test. But realistically, I had a calculator, so I had options. I just graphed it. I let my calculator worry about what it looks like, and I just looked for the minimum. What did you, what did you graph? What sign? I graphed all of this. I graphed the whole function. Oh, okay. I just... I don't want to take any time figuring out what it looks like if I don't have to. Now, that wasn't a great, I didn't do that for you on the FRQ, on the accumulation FRQ, because I need to justify my work. But this one, I just got to find the value. So I don't care, you know, that I'm not quick to be able to justify my answer. I know that's the answer, though. Like it says, like, the bounds negative 10 to 3. Uh-huh. Can I just, like, forget about that? Well, it just means, like, I don't know, if you go to an x value of 50, there might be another minimum, but don't even consider it. Only consider values from negative 1 to 3. Since I have a limited number of choices, I kind of knew what values to look at anyway. I mean, theoretically, I guess I should have made that my window. There's still only the one minimum at 2.5. And so I know I've said this before, but I'm going to say it lots more times for the AP test. If there was definitely one thing I wish I had pushed my students more on last year, it is using the calculator. Calculator can do this for you. You don't need to know any calculus other than to know how to access that symbol.